In this problem, a person is kicking a ball at ground level, and we want to find out what the formula for the range is. And we also want to find out what angle the person should kick the ball at to get the maximum amount of range. We will be assuming an ideal situation, so no air resistance. We will be using the position equation and the velocity equation, which is useful to note that they are integrals and derivatives of one another. I have listed them on this slide. We will also be breaking down the velocity into x, or left to right direction, and y, or down to up direction, by completing SOHCAHTOA. The cosine of the angle times the velocity equals the x velocity, and the sine of the angle times the velocity equals the y velocity. We are using the velocity of the initial condition. How do we go about solving this one? I'm going to assume you know the basics of projectile motion, so I'll be moving kind of fast. You can always pause or replay if you didn't do it the first time. This will be a tale of two formulas, one position formula in the y direction and one position formula in the x direction. Well, the y position formula dictates the amount of time the ball is in the air. This is known as hang time, and the hang time is shared between the y and x position formula. The x position formula, when we plug in hang time, is the maximum range for that situation. So we must rearrange the y position formula to get time to one side. We can plug in the y position of zero because it is zero when it is at ground level at the finish point, and an acceleration due to gravity of g, and the position initial of zero because it is also on the ground at initial condition. Then we can plug in the velocity initial in the y direction, which is the velocity times the sine of the angle. Next, we'll subtract velocity times the sine of the angle times time from both sides of the equation. Then divide both sides by negative one-half times the gravity times time. This leaves us with time on one side of the equation. This time is the hang time formula. Now let's work on the x direction position formula, which is also the range formula. We have no acceleration in the x direction, so it is zero, and the position at initial condition is also zero. Now because hang time is shared between both the x and y position formula, we can plug in the hang time formula into the x position formula where t, the variable for time, once was. This formula is now stating what the distance in the x direction is before the ball hits the ground, the range of the ball. Next, we can multiply out the expression to make it simpler to look at. We can further reduce this expression by using trig identities. Two times the cosine of the angle times the sine of the angle using the double angle identity equals the sine of two times that angle. Going back to our equation, we can substitute that value into the equation where 2 times the sine of the angle times the cosine of the angle once was. We have reached the reduced form of the range formula. You can plug in your variables into this equation to find the range or the maximum distance before the ball hits the ground. Assuming you have a starting position of 0 for the height and starting location, and the final location is also at a 0 position and there is no acceleration of the projectile except for gravity. So, looking at this equation, we can see that in order to make the range value as large as possible, we must either increase the velocity or have an angle that yields the highest possible value. The highest value on the unit circle of the sine, which is the y-coordinate, is 1, which happens at 90 degrees. So we need to get 90 degrees inside of the sine function. So 2 times 45 degrees equals 90 degrees, which will give us the maximum value for our sine value. So this is the maximum angle, 45 degrees, assuming no air resistance. With air resistance, the angle would be less. This video came as a result of a physics textbook that shortcutted to the answer, and I was just curious about how to get to the final answer. Hopefully I did a good job explaining it, and hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.